guess where I am. I'm only in China. <laughs> until I go away god damn it's come around quickly I'm starting to get very excited and also nervous at the same time right so I am ready for a day out just waiting for Tara to get ready she's taking forever as always but I don't mind waiting she's worth it babe how long are you gonna be five minutes <laughs> Yeah, you made it. You actually recording? Yeah. <laughs> you want to say hello? Hi. <laughs> she gets a little bit shy. Bless her. Also, a little bit of uh, exciting news to share that actually somewhere within this region around here, we have a little baby Johnson on the way. Oh yeah, that's right. Tara's got a bun in the oven and we have a baby due in four months time. So not only am I going away for a couple of months, but when I come back, I'm gonna be coming back a couple of weeks before we bring a little baby into the world. Ain't that right, honey Bill? <laughs> we are ready. We ready. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so we've made it to Glastonbury. This is our favourite place, isn't it, babe? It is our favourite place. But first things first, of course, the pregnant lady needs to go to the toilet. So, first mission, toilet, and then explore. Last meal out and the last meal with my mama, my boo boo before tomorrow. We're heading to the airport. God dang it. Morning. Just whipping up my cacao. 
chopping up some blood oranges for the journey to the airport. Got up at 6 a.m. Gonna be leaving in like 10 minutes. For the start of pretty much a 24 hour journey. Gatwick Airport saying goodbye wasn't easy lots of tears heart feels a little bit heavy do you know what I mean but it's not forever one shall be back but for now it's time to go check in for my flight and make sure I'm ready so just checked in got my flight tickets so now it is to head to departures, go for all of the security checks. Let's do this. They're not gonna lie, had to go through, check in of course, you know, get my visa checked, very important. Um, but this is a, a transfer <clears throat> as I head to the next stop. And I shouldn't have to check in again, but I had to go through like baggage claim and everything, which was really confusing for me and it threw me off. It threw me off, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, managed to make it through the baggage claim without having to without having to collect my my suitcase and now I'm just heading up to the departures lounge in order to make sure I'm ready for my next flight albeit I've got some time before my next flight so that's a positive that is a positive yeah it seems very Strong on authority here, lots of security, you know, and authoritative people. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised how many people of colour I've seen on the plane and since being here from all different parts of the world. So, yeah, that's actually alleviated a little bit of uh, anxiety, you know, I'm not trying to be the only one in the village now, come on. Yeah, we're in China, y'all. We are in China. The year of the dragon. I was born in the year of the dragon. I departed on a day that is an anomaly. The 29th of February, leap year day, whatever we want to call it. Yeah, man. It's wild. And it's in China. She. Yeah. You know the moments that you just feel proud of yourself for being able to overcome these little obstacles if we call it that you know these little challenges that may present themselves yeah man I'm buzzing right now but at the same time I'm still a little bit outside of my comfort zone man I can't lie still a bit outside of my comfort zone man like I say 
still very unfamiliar. But we're there, we're there in a China, Shanghai, don't know the thing. Oh what? So I am at Shanghai Departure Lounge waiting for my connecting flight to Wuhan which isn't departing for another 3 hours and 15 minutes so I thought I would use this time charge my laptop as I used up the battery power on the, on the flight charge my phone check this out as well they've got charging points for the phone so you just put the phone down and it charges how cool is that? How cool is that? So yeah, charge my phone, charge my laptop, and just chill. You know, like it is where it is five past nine in the morning here. But in the UK, it is currently five past one in the morning. So big time difference. You know, realistically, I should be asleep right now. Not wide awake in daylight. But anyhow, as for this episode, this is where I cut it. But be sure to tune into the next video where I continue the rest of my journey to the final destination where I will share with you as to why I've come to China. The main purpose for me coming to this country, you know? So. Yeah man, until next time, peace, love and power as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video if you feel it's worthy of sharing. It's all appreciated either way y'all. Yeah man, I will catch you on the flip side. Ah uh, yeah.